how did I not see that right away? <laughs> see these on the shelf and I'm like oh my god that's so cute why has no one ever designed a conical ghost before <laughs> well maybe that's why <laughs> I have a story I have a story I've told this in the streams a couple times but I don't know if I've ever told it in the vlogs so I think it was grade 9 either that or it would have been the very start of grade 10 because I moved out of town shortly after this incident you know <laughs> I was on the run no anyway grade 9 possibly early grade 10 so I'm not that young but I was naive <laughs> and didn't know what certain things meant and in one of my classes we had to take magazines and take poster board and then do a little collage a little cutout craft thing of things that represent you like use the magazine cutouts to make something on the poster board and like make several things that represent you and then you present it in front of the class and it's a little get to know you thing, even though all the students already know each other, but I guess maybe so the teacher could get to know us. And I don't remember all the things I put on my poster, but at the time I was in a long distance relationship with this guy named Kevin. And so I was cutting some K's out of the magazine. And my favorite number, number six, it was my jersey number, everything, still my favorite number to this day. I'm like, I love the number six. Let's slap a few sixes on this poster too. <laughs> I had no idea what either of those things meant, which is surprising because I was really into horror movies, especially paranormal stuff at the time. And so how did I not even know what 666 was? Like what? But anyway, it comes time to present it in front of the class. And I mentioned like, oh, six is my favorite number. And then for the Ks, I just glossed over it and went, mm, yeah, and skipped on to the next thing because I was bashful about my, my boyfriend, you know. So I didn't even explain it. My teacher didn't question it. Then after school, my brother comes up to me and he's like, Bailey, what is wrong with you? All my friends think you're a freak. And I'm so confused. I was like, what are you on about? And he's like, the posters in the classroom because the teacher hung up the posters in the classroom. And I'm so confused. He goes, 666, KKK. <laughs> And I, that's the day I learned what those things meant. <laughs> oh, lordy. Still wonder what the teacher thought to this day. Do you guys think this looks acceptable? It's like a little demon spirit or something, maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, these are actually super cool now. <gasps> if there's something still nefarious about them, let me know. But I think this looks really cool. And they look way better lit up now because the white was translucent. The clay or whatever was used to make this. And so the ghosts look splotchy when they were lit up. But now they don't. And the faces really pop. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So on the weekend, Christian's parents came to visit, which was really nice. And yesterday, I didn't film anything. Yesterday was Monday. But I got a lot done. I packaged about 35 orders. I was looking up tote bag samples because I I got some way in the past. When I was first looking up sweater samples, I had ordered some totes but didn't like them so I was looking more into that and I picked a few to try out. I ordered some more bobbins and some poly mailers that are smaller than the ones I currently have. Uh, I nailed down the design for the next sweater like I, I had some rough drawings in a book of what I want it to look like but I actually made it digitally in Photoshop and then also digitized it fully in Wilcom so it's ready to start stitching it out. I'm sure I'll have to make some tweaks to the design. We'll see how it stitches out and then I can tweak little things here and there, but. Kiki. And I was at my computer until midnight last night working on that. I was just really in the zone. So I thought, well, why don't I just keep working on this? So yeah, <laughs> I was down here till midnight. I also ordered some bigger hoops because we currently use the 10 by 10 hoop to do the chest. We don't need 10 inches high, but we use the full width that we can, but I want to go a little wider for the next design. And so I got the eight by 13. So it's more rectangular and it's commonly used for the chest area. So those should be here probably tomorrow. I'm assuming, assuming they ship out today cause it's coming from a local place. It's coming from embroidery systems, which is where I got my machine and stuff. It's where I got all my hoops. Although Christian's working on the next sweater restock. He just started on them yesterday. Although he had some, he previously stitched when we didn't know what sizes we were gonna do for the first restock. He had stitched out some larges. So that helped him get a little ahead of schedule for this, this restock. I wanted all the restocks to be before the end of September and restock two out of three is going to be in October. So. <laughs> but I'm also going to take steps to get machine number two. 
in October as well, so super exciting. Oh, and for color for the new design, I was gonna do the clay color. I expressed my concerns at it being a little too similar for, to sandstone for design number two, but then I just thought, whatever, we're, we're gonna do it. But then when I did my digital drawing and added the background color to it, I was like, well, let's see what it would look like with some other colors. And the dusty purple looked so good that this is what I'm gonna go with for the next design. So I haven't said what the design is yet. It's gonna be on this dusty purple. Just one color because I'm trying to simplify things for this next <laughs> this next drop. And it's gonna be a chest only design. But we'll have the crews and the hoodies. Although I gotta figure out, I guess I gotta figure out what gild and blanks I'm gonna use for uh, 4X and 5X. There's like six colors to choose from. Rude. So once I nailed down the colors, I also ordered the thread. So I got a lot done yesterday, so excited. Exciting. Me looking at today's list emails. Didn't do that. Unbox tripod. <laughs> this finally came in the mail. Well, I've had it for a few days now, but I held off on ordering it because it was going to take about a week to arrive and I didn't want it to be delivered while I was at my dad's place for the weekend. So I waited till I was back to order that. I tried ordering while I was there, but I couldn't get into my Amazon account because the cell service there is so bad and it was just non-existent at the time. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is the phone dedicated phone tripod and it's a long skinny one like this so it's only tripoded at the bottom not the whole thing well, this is the remote shutter <laughs> although i have a remote shutter on my phone already which will be great i could take sweater photos with my phone but there's a pen in my phone and the pen has a little button on it that acts as a little remote shutter when you're taking pictures yeah I think that ring tightens this then how do I make this come out is it just one of those twisty kinds ah maybe oh, okay you just pull <laughs> I also wrote to design the trick or treat stickers and make notepad designs. The notepad designs is like the task for the week. I'm too late to do any kind of enamel pin, but I never really had an idea for a pin anyway. I mean, the sweater design could be a pin, but that'll have to be for next year. <laughs> Towards the end of last year, I was saying I wanted a big notepad restock for this year and just make a whole bunch of notepad designs. And I have yet to do that. We're nearing the end of 2023, but that'll be my priority. I think for the next shop update as bunch of new notepad designs and I can do stickers I don't really know what else just due to time constraints I mean there's the sweater obviously and then hopefully tote bags what I'm really in the mood to do is clean this room because it is a disaster and I want to put these carts away but I have to move the sketchbooks first and that means I have to actually grade the sketchbooks so maybe I will do that even though I should be making the notepads I only have to go through these the middle stack I technically have already gone through so I just need this stack and this stack quality check them and get them under there. But I also have to pull out these ones. Those have to be quality checked too. took a while that was a lot of weight to haul around but there they are all the top ones are out of their boxes the bottom ones are in the boxes except for the b grades which are stacked down there i do still have to haul all of this to the garage and then i have more boxes here from when i was order packing those can all be broken down too just the ones on the top the rest still have sketchbooks in them Well, at least this corner of the room is clean. Woohoo! 
Now for the Halloween sticker, which is for trick-or-treaters. It's not something I'm gonna sell online. So it doesn't need to be a masterpiece. Just quickly whip something up. I was thinking something simple like a little ghosty. Not a pointy one. <laughs> a little ghosty with pumpkins around it and then some bats in the sky. Just something simple but cute. So sticker design is done and I thought it would be cute to also make it a little coloring page. This is kind of small, but I don't want it too wide because I want it to fit in the little goodie bag. So it's like a teeny tiny little coloring page. I'm going to cut this up. This is eight and a half. So if we go four and a quarter, that should be halfway. Yeah, that's a little off. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now I need 200 of them. Because <laughs> we get about 200 trick-or-treaters. I think it was just under 200 last year. And that was our first year here. I'm so used to Vancouver where we'd get next to nobody. Some years, literally nobody. <laughs> and now I'm like, ooh, I can make fun stuff. I don't know if I should watermark it or not, but I did. <laughs> Self-promo. <laughs> I just ordered the stickers and I ordered them as a label roll which I thought was going to be cheaper than die cut vinyl, but it's actually not. It's pretty much the exact same price. It's actually $2 more. So it's not as cheap as I thought it would be. So I think in the future, what I should do is, well, one, I could try making them myself with my Cricut. Alternatively, I can design something that's both for the shop and for the trick-or-treaters and order enough for both. And that way my quantity is higher so that I'm paying less per sticker. But this year I didn't have anything Halloween-y on the go, so I'm ordering just those stickers. Now I should move on to notepad design. I'm tempted to just do it as tomorrow's stream, designing the notepads. Maybe, maybe. It's just something that's not really that vloggable, so it makes sense to stick it in a live stream. <laughs> I'm probably gonna wait to print and cut out the rest of these. Because I'll save it for a day where I'm building the trick-or-treat bags. Maybe that could be a stream, too. <laughs> so that's all I've printed out for now. I just tended to some emails. And now I'm kind of sitting here like, mm, I don't really want to start anything new. And I'll be doing the notepads tomorrow. And since yesterday was such a long day down here, I kind of want to make today a shorter day. And just chill. We have some deliveries. Bobbins. Two cases of bobbins. Wow. Exciting. And the poly mailers. Whoa. Actually, I'm kind of excited about this just to see the size. And I ordered two sizes last time and they were way too big. <laughs> like, my small size could be used as a big size to fit two sweaters. Oh yeah, this is better. I don't know how the quality is compared to the other ones I have. Yeah, these ones feel thicker. It's just a smallish pack so I didn't go too crazy with it just in case they don't work out but it looks like it's gonna be a good size yay baby you look so little I came for this oh my nightstand's a mess it's a bunch of jewelry hey I was looking for these hair clips they've been here the whole time I bought this case for my old phone but it doesn't actually fit my phone <laughs> So I got this purple case instead. I swear I searched S9 Plus, but this is just for regular S9. Sad. I like to keep a copy of the Bible in my bedside table. Oh, I'm suffering. 
I'm suffering. <sighs> At least I'm getting towards the end of a book, so it's getting kind of interesting. Chapter 64 of book five, if you count the prequel. So I'm just struggling with this series still. Like the ends get a little interesting, but the rest of the books are just so boring. I just, my cozy little corner. Yeet. Wednesday stream went well. I got two notepad designs done of the four that I want to make. So that's probably what I should work on today also. I got done the Why Baby Why notepad and the video game notepad. And I did just a border for those, no additional corner art element just to maximize writing space. And it just made sense for these designs to do it that way. And so the next one I wanna do is a redo of the witch hat notepad because that was a smaller one and I'm gonna design it completely differently. It's gonna get a full border since it's a bigger piece of paper. But before that, the trick-or-treater bags arrived. So I can kind of test this. Like I could go a little bigger if I want to, but I also wanna leave room for the bag to billow outward. So maybe that is the right size. So I can just fit three vertically. So if I went bigger, I'd have to do four per sheet. So maybe, yeah, maybe we'll stick with this. Yeah. Also, my new hoops were delivered because the strawberry one is already at the full width I can do with our current hoops. So this is very exciting and I got two because that way while the machine's working on one, you are hooping the next garment. I'll probably need to get two more soon because if we get a second machine, we're gonna have to double up on all our hoops. So this means I can start testing out the new newly digitized design for the next sweater. Although I don't know if I'll have time for that tonight because we're gonna go out for supper with another couple. And Christian's currently embroidering strawberries, so I might have to wait till tomorrow night. <clears throat> I store them, well, white to white. This whole hoop is white, but <laughs> this white edge, some of the hoops have blue plastic. White to white, because then it's low magnetic force and easier to pull apart. I still need to mount my pegboards. They don't come with any mounting hardware, so. I'm gonna have to make something, which won't be hard. We have some wood in the garage, but I've been putting that off because these are all gonna get hung up on the pegboard. I should get started on that notepad right away because this morning we watched the season premiere of Survivor and I packaged orders and I did a little bit of tidying, not too much, but just a little bit of cleaning. Um, so it's already the afternoon. So this was the first one. I pretty much just took the washi design and put it up here, top and bottom, and then the low opacity design. I mean, I haven't done a notepad that has a very prominent bottom design. Cause I could still go with something small on top, not this, but something smallish on top. And then the bottom can have witch hat in the middle and then maybe some big crescent moons next to it. And, hmm. We'll see, I'll play around with some stuff for the notepad. I don't want all of them to be the exact same format, that's why. I like to switch it up like the strawberry one having no lines seems like most people do want the lines and i agree that most of the notepads i make should have lines but we had some requests for lineless so i had to do one lineless it just works so well for the arch too like it just it works okay here's what i have with and without the bleed do -do 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 it's kind of paying homage to the original with the top and bottom design just look at that, that's cute, that's so cute. I just took my tulip wreath and essentially flattened it out so it's more like a garland and it's a seamless pattern so I can use it for stuff. And I made a shorter version that's using only six of the tulips 
because I'm using it for packing tape. So I just ordered some packing tape with this design. Woo also the uh, tulip garland, as I call it, could also be used for washi. Two in one. Mm, mm, mm. Alberta Health Services says eat to lower your risk of diabetes. Say no more. Oh, I could go for a hot ch kiss. All right, that's all I have for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on Tuesday. In these little mugs. <laughs> They're really small, but so cute. The next aisle has some costume stuff, but look what I found on the end cap. <sighs> cute, and they're weighted at the bottom. That would be for indoors, but it's kind of cute. Spooky SpongeBob.